We'll guide you through how to move photos and videos from your iPhone 15 to a USB flash drive. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So it's important to note that your iPhone 15 or Pro or Pro Max is gonna go and have a USB-C port. Now this is sort of a newer port than most iPhones. Most older iPhones have a lightning port. So what this means is, is that if you've got a USB-C flash drive, that's gonna make things much easier because then you can plug it straight into your iPhone, but this is a USB-A, as you can see. So this means you're going to need an adapter. So the adapter I use is USB-C to USB-A because that is what goes in my iPhone. And then the other end is the USB-A, which I can go and plug the flash drive or USB into. So go and get the adapter, which you need. If you're using an iPhone 15, either you can get a USB-C flash drive and plug it straight in, or you have a USB-A flash drive and you'll need the USB-C to USB-A adapter. So now let's go and plug this in just here. And once you plug the adapter in, then you can go and plug the USB in. I've now connected my USB, but you may go and get a pop-up saying something like USB is taking up too much power. And if you get that, this means it's not going to work because it just drains too much power from your phone. So you'll need to use another one, but this is fine because I haven't had any pop-ups. Then you want to go and open up the, your photos app and you need to choose the photos and videos which you want to transfer. Now go to the top right and click on select and then select the photos and videos you wish to transfer. So I'll select just three there and then go and click on the share button in the bottom left and scroll down this menu here until you see the option save to files. Click there and your files will then open up. And what you need to do is click on the back button in the top left you probably have to press it a few times and then on the browse page, look for locations and you should then see the option for your USB. It will have like a little icon to the left there. Yours may be called something different though, but you can go and click on it and then you can choose where you want to go and save it. So I'll just go and save it in this main page here, but you can go into a folder or do whatever you want and then go and press save like so and now it's going to start transferring it. The time this takes will depend upon the size of the files you're transferring. So just wait. Once they finish transferring, your files app will automatically close off and you've now transferred them. So what you could do is go and plug it into a different device. And just to show you they have transferred, let me open up my files app, go back to the browse page or just press browse in the bottom right and then press on your USB, whatever it's called. And here they are. These are the, uh, the photos I went and transferred. And that's it. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.